Ian, Ian Gillen Band. <clears throat> this album came out in 1976. Classic albums to have. These albums are kept in really good shape. Got the original inner sleeve in there, which is really cool. Like I said before in the other video, uh, we kept our records in better shape than our parents did. He was born, Ian Gillen was born August 19th, I think it's 1947, as far as I remember, in uh, Hounslow, Middlesex, Great Britain. And one of his first bands he was into between September and October 1962 was the Moonshiners, and he went under the name Garth Rocket. Yeah. That's a funny name, Ian. And then uh, between October 62 and March 64, they were, he was with the Javelins and he called himself Jess Gillen. And then he was in another band called the Hickeys. And then, uh, and then he was in the Wayne Wright's Gentleman Band between April 64 and May 65. And then, the band, before he went into Deep Purple, the band called Episode 6. May, May 1965, August 1966, that's where he met Roger Glover. And then they brought in a woman, Sheila Carter, in Episode 6, made, sang a single on there, and I guess she stayed there. And so they've been out there from February to, to September 1967. There's a lot of info, a lot of changes, a lot of <clears throat> history about all these bands and stuff. Too much to list, too much to say um, in a short allotted amount of time. So, between July 69, no. So, about July 69, Ian joins the Purple. Um, so he joined Deep Purple on <clears throat> one condition that his friend Roger Glover would come into the band and that's the reason why uh, Mr. Simper uh, was no longer in the band. Nick Simper was no longer in the band because Ian said, no I ain't joining unless Roger is joining and Ian um, Ian Pace the drummer who was always in the band he was the constant member throughout all the Deep Purple years said to Richie do it do it and so okay and that's the beginning of Ian Gillen and Roger Glover with Deep Purple, when they wanted to become a heavier band. But that's a story of another. Anyways, we're talking about Ian Gillen here, anyways. So, well, that what we were talking about Ian. I was talking about Ian Gillen. I don't know who else is here, but I know I'm here. Anyways, yeah, so Ian Gillen got a whole bunch of albums out from 1976 to 1982 called Ian Gillen. Ian Gillen Band and sometimes Gillen. Um, he was thinking about calling his band Sean Day Grenade, but people had no interest in that in that band name. 
So, thank goodness it was Ian Gillen banned. So, 1977, Scarabus. That's a cool front cover, ain't it? That is cool. I like cool covers like that. Scarabus! You know, in 1982, uh, Ian Gillen called himself uh, Garth Rocket with the Moonshiners. He uh, played with them back in 1989. Yeah, before releasing more of his solo albums. His other solo albums after that, like later on, in 1990, there was an album came out, Naked Thunder, 1991 called Toolbox, 1998, Dreamcatcher, 2006, he put out an album out called Gillen's Inn. So, you can say about 1976 to 1982 with Ian Gillen and Gillen. And after 82, his friend Rodney Marsh said to him, Hey Gillen, you should really make a Deep Purple reunion. Hence, Deep Purple Perfect Strangers came out. And the House of Blue Light and the other Deep Purple albums. We were all excited that back then when Deep Purple reunited. Yeah! Okay, Scarabus! What the hell are we going to play now? Let's see. Oh, don't really expect any uh, super duper heavy metal from Ian Gillen. They did a few hard rocking songs. <clears throat> um, one song was even kind of punkish because they had, at one point in time, uh, Bernie Torme. And he was uh, punk influential. And so, when Ray Fenwick was out of the band. They had Bernie to Bernie Torme in in there. So I only got three albums. So the Ian Gillen band they collapsed financially. That's what happened to that group. The other album I have is called Future Shock. I think 
this is 1980 1981 <laughs> on Virgin Records Got the original inner sleeve. I always seem to make me my videos after I eat something after breakfast, after uh, supper. Ah. And he's got more albums than I have. I only got three of them. But uh, just to give you information. There you go. Like and subscribe. Support the band. Um, you know that Ian's wife uh, passed away some years ago due to a long battle of illness. Um, it's something we all gonna have to face one day is is we all pass away um, that's life and you know let's, let's say this um yeah young people are cool okay like like I don't knock young people down or anything you know but but I've heard you know People put down old people and all that. But you know what? You'd be lucky enough to get old. You'd be lucky enough to have your cards dealt right to get old. Because some people die young. You never know when you're going to die. You can die tomorrow. Okay, when I was at work, this guy, this was years ago. It was in my, in my 40s. And uh, this guy was around my age. He had a heart attack. He died right there. Couldn't be revived. You just go, just like that. So be lucky every day that you're alive. Um, eat healthy. Stay away from fast food. Don't eat McDonald's and all that. That's not healthy. Do research. Um, always, always uh, have a curiosity. Learn something. Learn, learn, learn. The more you learn, the more you realize how dumb people are. It's true. The more you know things, the more, you know, you're further away from these other people. Because they, their mentality is totally different than yours. You're more enlightened. You're more, you have knowledge. It's a, it's a powerful tool. It enlightens you. You know, so learn. Have a curiosity. Learn things because there's a lot of BS out there. Um, so, that's my uh, little uh, tidbit. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and metal we trust. And there you go. Uh, next video, we'll do Deep Purple Ian Gillen. He went a little bit more rockin' because the 80s, you know, came back with heavy rock, just went nuts. See, that's a little bit punk sounding, eh? I think this is a little controversial.
It reminds me of uh, Scorpions. Virgin Killer album.